Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use columns in Word and how to troubleshoot all the little problems you might find when formatting your document. So I've just got a very simple document here and let's say for example we had finished typing and realised we wanted to convert this document into two columns. So if you go to layout and you can see this icon here says columns, click on the drop down and we click on two columns. Whilst Word has converted your document into two columns, you can see it's also added the title to those two columns and clearly you'd like the title in the middle. So what you need to do is to tell Word which sections you want in columns and which sections of your document you don't or want in one column. So if we go up to the Home tab and we go along to this little icon here and it shows all your formatting marks, if I click on it, you can see where we've entered all our return keys. So all you need to do is to select your title, go back up to Layout, go to Columns, and you need to tell Word that with this document title, you only want it to be in one column. So just click, and you can see now we've just got it in one column, and then we've got this double line here. Now this double line is our section break. And a section break is where Word is doing something different to the previous section to the following section. It's like breaking it up into little parts. So I'm going to put my cursor at the end of the text of the title and press return. And now you can clearly see that section break. Now, if you want to delete a section break, it's not as easy as you think. You have to hold down your command or control key, select it, and then you can press it. If you try to just select it, it won't. So let's just repeat that and just go to one column and then just press return. I'm just going to get rid of these two return keys here just to make sure all of this lines up. So if I then go to the Home tab and then take out these formatting marks, you can see now you've got that perfect document where it's in two columns and you've got your title in a single column. However, if you don't want the whole document into two columns, let's say you just wanted a portion, so then what you need to do is to select all of the text you want in one column, go back up to Layout, go to Columns and select One. And then if we go back to the Home tab, switch back on the formatting marks, you can see exactly what Word has done. So we've got a section at the top here for your title, which is one column. Then we've got a section break where Word says, right, the next section you want in two columns down to this section break here. And then I've told Word that from this section to the following section break, I want one column. Now, if you want to continually write in your one section, you have to go to the left of your section break. So I've put my cursor here and let's continue typing and then we can press the return key and we can just continue to type as normal. However, if you go below your section break and I'm just going to enter some random text, this is how you just put some placeholder text and press enter, you can see Word has gone back to the original two columns up here. So again, Word has sectioned out your document. So it's important to note that if you want to continue with one column, you must go within your section, otherwise this will happen. Now, of course, you can alter your section. So if in this section here, you wanted three columns, you just select it and go to columns and just select three. And there within your section, you have three columns and then you have this additional section break here. Now, if I was to delete this section break here, it won't convert this into three because you've got this section break here. Now, if I just take some of these return keys out, you can see exactly what's happening. So if we go back and just take out the formatting marks, you can now see how your Word document will look. And again, you can change the bottom section to one column. And despite using columns, you can still insert all of your images, icons and shapes. So if we go to insert, Let's select a picture from our stock images. We'll just select the top one here, click insert, and then we can go to wrap text and we can go top and bottom. And then we can just simply move this up into our document, reduce the size, and then we can move it anywhere into the sections. You can still, you can see things will start to jump around 
because we've put in these section breaks. But all you need to do is go to the Home tab, put in your formatting marks and you can see where the sections have broken up. You can have this strange element where the text will almost join up. And if I just try to divide this text up, you can see it doesn't quite work very well. You can see it all sort of flows into one another and doesn't make a lot of sense. So what you will need to do is just put your cursor at the very beginning of the sentence that you want to break from, then go to layout, go to breaks, and then just insert another continuous section break. And that means that it will completely divide up that top section from this section. So you won't get any interference. So if you continue to type here, if I just nudge that down, it will keep all of these sections completely separate from these sections. So you won't have anything running into the other that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So again, let's take off those formatting marks and you can see how that will work. So it's just really important to know about your formatting marks and what's actually happening within your document and about those section breaks. Once you can see your section breaks, you can delete them, as I said, holding down that command or control key and selecting it. Just delete those section breaks. But the way in which Word interprets what you want to do is just by dividing each element of your document up and then telling Word what you want to do with that section. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.